Hello everybody, my name is Paul Spooner, or DudeCon, I'm the guy who wrote the Forester tree script, and I'm here to show you guys a road I built in InfDev. This is my spawn tower, I built a big tower here so that I would spawn higher up instead of getting trapped in this giant valley. And uh, then I went exploring, and actually I went exploring off in this direction, I believe that's east, if the sun rises in the normal way in Minecraft. And I built a big tower over there, and then I came back and... I had a hard time finding my spawn point here. So I just kind of kept going and found a cool place and built a base. And then I thought, you know what? If I ever die, I'm going to have trouble finding my way back here. So I headed north and south and built some big, uh, some big towers with some markers on them pointing the way toward my new base that I built. And uh, then I jumped off the one of the big marker towers and died. And Well, first I put all my stuff in chests, obviously. And then I came back, and here I was at my spawn point, and I headed off toward, what would that be, west, toward the west, and found my base. I was like, oh, sweet. But it was across a few oceans and some big mountains, and if I ever wanted to get back there quickly, it was going to be a pain to have to traipse all the way back there. So I built a road. So this is the road that I built, and uh, there were trees popping up in it, so I paved it. It's also nicer looking if it's paved. I just like it that way. But you can see it would be a real pain to go all the way across the ocean here and have to swim and then climb that big mountain and find your way every time and maybe fall. And it's just a lot faster this way. And hopefully, eventually, Notch will include some sort of increase in speed for going on roads or something like that. That would be really, really nice. So this probably took me about, oh, I don't know, four hours to build. I didn't really keep track of the time. My wife's like, when are you coming to bed? And I'm like, oh, I'm still working on this road. I got done at about 3 in the morning. So it's probably about 5 hours to mine all the way through all these mountains and build all these bridges and place all the torches, plus another hour to pave it all. So eh, maybe 6 hours. I think this is my favorite spot here. Just looking out from the little vista point, the big mountains and rivers and things. I haven't really gotten my wife to get interested in in Minecraft uh, inf dev yet. She likes the in dev. She builds things and builds lots of glass stuff and hollows out caves and finds all kinds of minerals. But I think in de inf dev, the, just this expanse of it, the largeness of it, kind of frightens her. So I built this road. Maybe hopefully she'll uh, have a frame of reference for where things are. I'll get her to build some waypoints and some supply stations and things along the road. That would be fun. Maybe get her on the same map. But at this point, she just builds stuff in InDev. Ooh, ooh, almost fell off there. So as you can see, it's a uh, fairly rugged terrain. I think Notch said he's going to make this terrain the most extreme of the different terrain types. But this is the kind of terrain where one would need a road. And here's a big bridge. Not sure what else to say here. It takes, I think, five minutes. Well, you can see from the length of the video. I think it's about five minutes to go from one end to the other. So it's about half a day. I start off at sunrise. We'll see where the sun is. I think a Minecraft day is about ten minutes long. We've got some trees trimmed back here. Oh, there is one of the towers, one of the marker towers. And there, this is a, a natural formation. This is the reason I built this base here because I didn't really want to go back to my spawn point. I didn't know where it was. And I was like, whoa, that's really cool. So I built a little tower. There's some torches up there. You can't really see them during the daytime. During the nighttime, the whole road is kind of lit up. It's got little islands of light where all these torches are. Very cool looking. So I built a tower on top of this big spire here and then uh, leveled out this area, built a little pillar with some stuff. My base is kind of mm, elementary. But it's kind of my wife's area to do uh, fancy habitations and things. My area is more mines. I've got some big mines down there and some farms and stuff anyway. So there you go. There's a big long road. And uh, hopefully with multiplayer and some more established areas, there will be some humongous road networks crossing and crisscrossing all over the Minecraft world. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, this is DudeCon. I hope you uh, 
make some cool stuff of your own. Please post any comments and uh, suggestions on how this could be better. Thanks. Bye.